Hello guys, it's Farmer Beavis once again and welcome back to Baldikino. Privet and hello. Yeah, we are out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, not really in the middle of nowhere. If you look over there, this is where the um, bakery is. Um, yeah, at this little abandoned church here. I think I have been here very briefly during the... Um, the, when we first looked at the map but I think that's about it and yeah I kind of kind of like this old building and yeah I not to get weird on you or, or anything uh, today when I was running my errands and um, I came by the church here in town I went in um, haven't been in the church since yeah basically since I moved here and yeah, just just sat down in in the in the back row and yeah, enjoyed the silence for a few moments. And I'm I'm not a religious person, but um, the the silence and the um, atmosphere was yeah something very special. So yeah, um, I enjoyed that and kind of wanted to start this episode at this place because of that. But yeah. Enough of Beavis getting all um, spiritual and sentimental on you. <laughs> yeah, uh, welcome back to Baldekino. Um, we are gonna yeah not do too much. Today, oops, I just hit my pop filter. I am very sorry. That's so that, I'm, I'm just looking at the um, at the waveforms. Um, that uh, made a bit of a ugly sound. I might have to cut that out and put a f funny effect of it or whatever. Um, because yeah, I don't wanna um, uh, rape your ears. Because yeah, that is that must be very um, uncomfortable, especially when you're listening with headphones not that um, I would recommend listening to Beavis with headphones because um, your ears might fall off but anyhow um, yeah as I was trying to say before I um, made the world explode um, we're not going to do too much exciting stuff um, kinda don't have anything special prepared um, was very busy on this map though yesterday because um, yeah, I kind of ran into the problem that um, both my um, BGA and my uh, cow manure bunkers were getting um, very, very full. Um, and I had to find a solution for that. And luckily somebody um, from Timber's um, group was nice enough to um, modify um, a manure storage for me a little bit or a um, slurry storage. Um, yeah, to kind of um, help me out of that and we will go there in a moment which we're just gonna um, drive by the pig farm and pick up the um, the um, slurry from there it's only um, 60,000 liters but since I have the truck anyhow and um, yeah I didn't want to start uh, I don't have a, um, I don't have a, a cosplay course for that yet for the other um, for the other stuff like the um, the dairy farm and the BGA, I have a, a course to the um, story storage already, and I had this truck and the rented truck um, running there, and basically for yeah close to three hours yesterday, um, and yeah uh, they didn't they didn't have these kinds of trailers on the back. They had the slightly smaller flegel ones because. Um, I still had another manure, uh, uh, not manure, sorry, um, slurry storage installed that was causing a bug where I couldn't use this one. But um, as I had emptied that one out and threw that out of the mud folder, I could use the normal cotton ones. So that is pretty cool. And here I have an um, external um, silage um, fermenting silo because the, there was some, some overhang when I did the last silage operation but um we approaching the next silage operation pretty quickly because um yeah i will have to make some more team r in the silage clamp because um with the pigs here and or between the pigs and the um and the dairy farm even uh, even though i have the um the robot at the at the farm or not the robot but the um the rubenschneider the um beat 
chopping machine. Um, yeah, it is hard to keep up, and I think I'm yeah I'm way too far away. Let me see here if I can, or maybe maybe I should just um, get closer to the thing and select the actual um, the actual uh, trailer. But yeah, um, what I was trying to say, um, even with the um, beach shredder and the um, and yeah, and the thing uh, running on full speed. I am um, yeah. I, I can't keep up, and I will have to make some more uh, team R in the slurry pit. Uh, not slurry pit yet. Make a team R in the slurry pit. That's that's gonna be disgusting. No, um, some sorry, <laughs> some team R in the um, in the silage pit. So um, yeah, between that and the um, the BGA running at full speed. Um, one of the bunkers is nearly empty already, and the second one won't take too long, especially since um, the corn w will take a few days to grow. So, um, yeah, we might see another silaging operation very, very quickly. So, let's see here how fast is this one moving along. Ah, he's nearly full. And then, yeah, we, we won't really get um, all the stuff of the second load, but... Um, yeah, the 9000 can stay, and this is what I like about this thing, um, it has the little um, fill type indicator here um, that says, okay, this thing is loaded with slurry, or gülle, as, it, as it's called in German. In German. So, let's get back in, close our door, and then we should be on our merry way, just let me see um, what the best um, way to drive will be. I think we're just gonna be go between field one and two and then um, go a bit um, up the street and uh, turn in next to the um, next to where the cooperative is where the grain storage um, is located and then go underneath the rail tracks um, uh, by the old um, sunflower field and then um, make our way over there because yeah, I, I could go the other way, but then we would encounter some lag still since I still have some issues with the frame rate around the farm. And yeah, I don't wanna subject you guys to that. And it's very um, disorientating when the thing starts lagging. And you saw a little bit of lag there. I don't know what that was. Maybe I was just turning too quick. Yeah, um, other than that, um, yeah, getting fully into the swing of thing things on this web again um, played I think about five hours yesterday so that was that was pretty cool um, yeah and and while the the two trucks were running back and forth um, with the slurry I was busy on field one spreading manure I um, yeah have used up every bit of manure that I had around the cow farm and now I basically just um, use the manure purchase trigger to um, yeah, kind of, uh, what? Sorry, got distracted by a message. Um, yeah, to, to kind of um, fill in for that. And I think I have five or six more passes and then I should be done with that field. Then um, I can do the next 100 passes with some um, lime. And then it's um, time to plow. Because, yeah, then, uh, then the field should be ready to go and I can plow it to turn the manure and the lime into the soil and then um, I should be able to um, cultivate it and seed it so yeah we're gonna just go left here nobody is coming that is good because um, yeah this is a slurry in a hurry operation <laughs> although we're not driving very fast but I don't really want to drive too fast with um, 30,000 liters of um, stirring in the back because that's gonna be a shitty situation when you run into somebody but anyhow yeah um as i was saying uh, and then once i once i have seeded that field in um in uh yeah i will seed it in uh, wheat i suppose um or no in barley because i have um seeded field eight in barley as well and then um yeah we have a nice big chunk of barley and also then we have the same swath type which is um, 
not relevant for the um, for the bales, but um, it is relevant for the bale master, as I found out, or at least I think it is, because um, it kinda makes some problems if you, um, or it seems to make some problems if you throw um, different kinds of um, bales into that thing. Hence, you didn't see me use it much yet, because I have a lot of different bales sitting at the. Um, at the um, facility over there and yeah I will have to clean them out anyhow and um, yeah I will move some over to the pig farm because they will need some straw soon so yeah I will have to see that uh, we are certainly not running out of work on this farm that is for sure yeah and if we go back here past the old sunflower field that I will have to turn in at some point and I yeah I might um, get these two fields here relatively soon field seven and six but as I said um, we are not even done um, uh, or we are, we have not even worked field nine completely and then um, we also have to do something with field one and uh, for the um, for the uh, corn, I want to um, revitalize field three because then I have a nice long um, supply chain back to the um, BGA. But yeah, anyhow, um, here we are at the um, slurry storage. It's basically just a tank, and yeah, um, this is the smaller one of the two with um, one million liters of um, capacity. As you see, uh, 796,000 liters are occupied already, and we're just gonna see. I have to select the correct um, implement, of course, and then we can also get out here and walk around a little. Yeah, and as you see, 796k uh, full already. That was the BGA and the slurry pit of the cows, and yeah, that was. That was about it already, and yeah, other than that, um, yeah, we talked about that field, um, field one I probably will um, plant sugar beets on once again, or maybe potatoes as well, although field two should give us enough potatoes as it is. Um, I plan on uh, purchasing field ten and just um, turning it into a grass field. That we maybe can do some um, grass mowing at some point, um, but I'm not sure about that yet. So yeah, this guy is empty. The, um, the emptying out goes a bit faster than the loading for whatever reason. So yeah, we're gonna um, turn back around and go for our second run. And um, I will quickly um, reply to that message that I got, and then um, I will meet you guys when we are back at the, at the pig farm. So yeah, see you in a second. And we're back. Sorry about that, but I also had to grab a sip of my drink because I felt my um, throat going dry. So yeah, um, what else, what else, what else? Um, yeah, we talked about the field. Um, yeah, and the animal situation, as I said, um, some TMR will be necessary. That is also kind of why, I, um, why I'm thinking about getting the um, grass field on field 10, because then I could um, make some TMR the traditional way, if need be. Just um, get some get some uh, hay into the mix and then we would be good because yeah as, as I said um, the Drüben uh, Schneider or the beet chipper can't really keep up with 200 cows and their daily needs one day, once they have run dry which unfortunately happened during fast forwarding so yeah we're gonna get back into that thing and drive this one back to the um, to the storage and then um, and that will be it because um, yeah that was about all I wanted to show today um, as, as I was saying in the beginning not a very exciting episode just wanted to um, and I give a little update what I have been up to and um, yeah show off my new shiny um, slurry storage as shiny as a 
um, sturdy storage can be for that matter and I also got a new storage for um, the solid menu which I haven't um, placed down yet and you see that I took a little shortcut across the field there tsk 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 was not paying attention while having my sip um, anyhow uh, yeah and that is about the state of affair on this farm here Okay guys, and here we are back at the um, slurry storage As I said, um, we are just gonna offload here and um, call it an episode for now I apologize for this turning out to be a shorter video, but um, yeah, don't have anything more to show and I doubt that you wanna see um, 30 minutes of me going up and down the field um, with the manure spreader and having to go back to the cow farm every after every pass so I'm gonna do that off screen but I'm gonna watch some um, YouTube stuff so yeah um, as always uh, I thank you guys so much for taking time and watching this if you enjoyed this little video consider leaving a like that would be awesome and yeah I am Farmer Beavis and I shall see you later